guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna start with making something from Japan. And after doing a little research, because I was conflicted on this country, I'm not gonna lie, because I love sushi and I love Japanese curry. So I didn't know which one to make, but ultimately I decided to make sushi because I've never made it before and I'm genuinely so excited to make it. I even got a little sushi mat. Ah! So today we're gonna make salmon sushi and along with that we're gonna make because you know we ain't no basic kani salad and we're gonna make three different types of dipping sauce for sushi because i like a lot of different things so i wanted to try out new different sauces and see which one i like the most and so we're gonna get started with all of my ingredients here this is a lot i know i am fortunate enough to live in an area where there are a lot of asian markets around me so i went to my local h mart i got my rice I got my Japanese mayo, I have my seaweed, I have everything I need and I will provide you guys with all the ingredients that we're gonna need for the sushi recipe. So, all right, we're gonna get started with making the sauce and then I will guide you on how to make the actual sushi. Okay, so our rice is cooking in my rice cooker in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the mixture that we're gonna mix with the cooked rice. So here, we're just gonna add sugar and salt and to that, you're going to add in a little bit of mirin as well as rice wine vinegar. And you're going to go ahead and mix that up and make sure the salt and sugar is dissolved and just set it aside. Now we're on to our first sauce. This is the unagi sauce and we're going to bring a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of mirin and a whole lot of sugar over a medium heat uh, to a rapid boil. You're going to mix the sugar in really well to make sure that it fully dissolves. And once it's dissolved and it's been sitting, it's going to start boiling up really quick. So please watch this. And you're going to let this go for 30 minutes on low heat until it gets to this rich color. Now we are on to our second sauce. Now some people call this spicy mayo and some call it dynamite sauce. I'm just going to go with a basic spicy mayo, so it's just the Japanese mayo plus sriracha, a sprinkle of garlic powder, and a little bit of lime. If you get any of the seeds in like I did, you can just take it out. And just mix that in until it's all well combined, and that is your second dipping sauce. Now on to our third and last dipping sauce. This is going to be a combination of soy sauce and sesame oil. You're going to also add in some sriracha, garlic powder, as well as a squeeze of lemon juice. Go ahead and mix that in until that's all mixed together. And you can go ahead and add in a little bit of sugar and continue mixing and set aside. Now we can go ahead and make our rice. So we have our fully cooked sushi rice that's been cooking in my rice cooker. And we're gonna start scooping that out. I didn't want to wait, but this rice is really hot, so once it finishes cooking, you can also wait a little until it cools down and is, and you're comfortable handling it. Then you can go ahead and flatten out any lumps that are in the rice. And then from there, you can mix in the actual vinegar mixture. Make sure that you get it all over the rice, but be gentle because it is rice and we don't want it to turn into mush. And you can set that aside to let cool down even further. All right, now we're going to get started on our kani salad. So here I have my crab sticks, which is just imitation crab. So you're going to just cut them in half because I don't want my kani salad to be too long. And you're going to start kind of like doing what you do with string cheese and just like shredding them. Make a mess in or a stick as you like. This is on, totally on personal preference. And go ahead and do it for however many sticks you would like. So even though it is like string cheese, it is kind of sticky. So if you have to wash your hands, totally fine. Just take a break, wash your hands and get right back to shredding. To make the kani salad, just combine the cucumber and shredded imitation crab with mayo and the sriracha sauce and just mix really well to make sure that all the mayo and sriracha are evenly distributed throughout the salad. And then that is your kani salad. Now you may see that we have panko and I love a little bit of crunch with my sushi, but we're not going to use it just yet. So as I said, we're making salmon sushi. So I wanted to pair the softness of the salmon with the crunch of the cucumber because I think it's probably one of the best combinations in my opinion. 
So you're gonna go ahead and cut your cucumber in half because you might not need the full one and peel that bad boy because we don't want the actual peels of the cucumber. We just want the goodness on the inside because it's on the inside what matters, guys. So you're gonna go ahead and cut the cucumber in half and into quarters and take off the seeded part of it because you don't really need the soft side. You just need the crunch of the outer layer of the cucumber and continue slicing. Be careful at this point and you know, the knife is really close to your fingers, so be mindful of that. Thankfully, my knife is not as sharp as I would actually like it to be, but it gets the job done, so girl can't complain. Go ahead and slice as many cucumbers as you think you'll need. I did half of a cucumber and that was enough for me. Now we are on to the slicing of the actual salmon. So I'm going to show you two ways that I sliced my salmon. One was just going strictly across, getting chunky to a little slim pieces because I just wanted those. I thought maybe I can layer it with my sushi and get like a good amount of salmon in. And the other way was just doing it um, the longer way. So I had my little short pieces, but I also wanted to get some really long ones. And those were just these. Okay, so we are many, many steps closer to our final product. Now, before we actually do the roll, there is this really cool technique that I saw online that a lot of majority of people who make sushi do. And basically what it is, is that they wrap their sushi mat with saran wrap because the sushi rice is extremely sticky. So when you're actually doing the rolling part, you don't want the rice to stick to the mat because then it's just going to complicate the next roll. So by wrapping it in saran wrap, it makes it a lot easier for when you're actually doing the roll. You can just peel it off and you're good to go. Dun, dun, dun. We are on to the fun part. Here I have all my ingredients laid out along with my seaweed wrap and my sesame seeds. So point because the seaweed wrap itself is too big to have an act a full roll so you kind of have to trim a little bit off so i kind of try to do it in the way of like i did like a fake roll to see how much i would need and i kind of just went off of that now you're going to go ahead and wet your hands because like i said the rice is extremely sticky and just start flattening it out onto the seaweed wrap you just want to make sure that you have an even layer of rice covering majority of the wrap you can leave a little like a little bit off the edges which is fine but majority of it should be covered with the rice and then once the rice is covered you can go ahead and put on your fillings for the sushi so now that i've made sure that my rice is very well layered i'm gonna go ahead and add in my salmon as well as my cucumber once you're satisfied with how your fillings are you can go ahead and just roll the mat over and just keep it very snug and tight and just make sure that the ends connect basically and you have your sushi roll here to cut it into little pieces another trick is to actually put another little small piece of saran wrap over it and then just cut through that and make as many pieces as you would like and just lift the saran wrap up and you have your sushis your little tiny cute pieces okay so i showed you how to do one roll with the seaweed on top and now i'm going to show you how to do a roll with the sushi rice on top so again you're going to measure out your seaweed to see how big of a sushi roll you actually want and then you can start scooping out the rice with your fingers in the water because you know this rice is extremely sticky and it really will be hard to manage unless you're constantly dipping your fingers into the water. Layer out the rice to make sure that everything is fully incorporated. Then you're gonna take your sesame seeds and just sprinkle them over the rice. Now you can be generous with this or you can be very light with this or you can omit this completely, but I like sesame seeds, so I don't mind. Then you're gonna go and flip the sushi with the seaweed and basically follow the same steps as before and now you can just start adding in your filling which is the cucumber and the salmon and then you can go and roll the mat really snug and really tight again you might have to readjust based on where you started but that is really it and that's your sushi roll right there and you're going to follow the same steps as before with the saran wrap over it and using it you're going to start chopping them up into the little pieces that you want our final product 
So now that I've arranged the sushi on both sides of the plate, I'm going to scoop my kani salad right into the middle because, you know, it's all about that presentation, people. So here we have all of our kani salad or as much as you can fit on your plate. And remember the breadcrumbs? So we have the panko crumbs and we're going to sprinkle them on top of the kani salad. This adds like the perfect combination with how soft the kani actually is and then the, the crunch of the actual breadcrumbs that are like panko breadcrumbs. Then we're going to go on and drizzle some of the sauce that we had made earlier. So this is the unagi sauce and I'm just casually drizzling a little bit of it over my sushi roll. I'm only doing it on one roll because I want the other roll to just be plain. And then along with the unagi sauce, I'm also putting on a little drizzle of spicy mayo just because I really liked these two sauces and I kind of wanted to combine them and make like a special roll almost, you know? And you can add top it off with a little bit of panko on top and you have your sushi. Guys, we made sushi. So this is this is big for me. I'm really excited. All right, people, now comes the moment of truth. Now, I spent a long time on this sushi, so I am actually really scared and really excited to try this because it's so much effort, I will say, like to make all the condiments and then the rice and the kani salad. Granted, I didn't have to make the kani salad, but still, I, I can't eat sushi without kani salad. That's just me. So let's get to it. So I made two rolls because I wanted to show you both ways. One is the one with the seaweed wrap on the top and the one, the other one is the one with the actual rice on the outside. So here we go. We have our salmon and cucumber. Some wasabi. Mix in the kani salad. Okay, so from the three sauces I showed you, um, I, on the rice roll, I drizzled the, the one that we actually made on the stove and I drizzled some of our spicy mayo on top. This roll is awesome. I love that sauce that I made because it, it has such a nice, sweet, rich texture and it goes really well with the dressing of the sushi. So definitely a great roll on that end. So let's try this one. And I made this the one of the sauces for this to dip in. This sushi that's a plus oh my god i am so happy i'm finally been able to make sushi because i love sushi and i haven't actually attempted it at home but now that i see it is a lot of work i'm not gonna lie it is a lot of work but i also think i added a little work for myself because i made a lot of sauces that technically you don't really need if you're not the type of person but i just like them and Oh my god, this this is amazing. The kani salad with the imitation crab, like and the cucumbers and the panko. Perfect combination of crunch and softness. Oh my god, I am sorry, but I have to have another bite. The sushi is so good. I love a little bit of extra spicy mayo, so I'm just gonna. Wow, this is some really good sushi. Okay, so this was Japan and I really loved it and I'm, I can't wait to devour the rest of this sushi. I'm so excited. And I hope that my video helped you guys learn how to make sushi and I really hope you guys attempt it. And if you do, please comment below and let me know how it turns out. 
And if you really like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and it would mean the world to me if you continue to watch my videos. I hope I can bring you guys more videos about more different cuisines throughout the world, and we'll see what we have for you next week.